Hi, crafty friends. I know so many of us are trying to um, decorate outside our outside space for spring. And so I wanted to show you this project that I did last year because this is one of my favorite ones from spring last year. So I just took one of the hoops from the Dollar Tree and just used my crocodile there just to make some holes through it. And then I'm going to start painting everything. The wood um, little spatulas and spoons that I'm using there are also from uh, Dollar Tree. And look at me wearing gloves. Oh my goodness. That's so good. I don't wear those all the time now. I need to start doing that more. Okay, sorry, I digress. So once I get everything painted up the way I want it to, um, we'll start putting this all together. Now, I there's actually a couple of different colors of this kind of like tealy color and a blue color. And you guys know I don't normally go like super bright colors, but with this project I did because of the beads. So I even added in a little bit of red. It totally gives me like, um, oh, Pioneer Woman vibes. Like I love her stuff and all the colors and all the things. So it totally gives me those vibes. But I'm just putting um, one coat. I didn't even, I didn't even need to do multiples. And then I thought, oh, let's decorate this up. I'm going to put some little polka dots on. I like using just the end of my brushes just for different size uh, polka dots. Those are super easy, especially when you want them to be smaller. Um, these work out great. So once all of that is dry, then I start stringing um, beads that I had from the Dollar Tree. You can see there, there's some crystals that are down there. I thought, ooh, we're going to add some of those on there too, just to have, like, if the sun's hitting them, a little bit of um, reflective, you know, stuff in there as well. But I love the sound of wood wood chimes. Wood wood chimes. That's like a tongue twister right there. <laughs> uh, so metal, mm, not my favorite but the wood yes please so these end up making a super cool um sound so i'm just no rhyme or reason just kind of putting all the beads some of them have different shapes and sizes and obviously the colors but just have fun with this part because what we're going to do is when we put this together we're going to tie each individual one that we're doing here the beads um and then we'll hang those around and then in between those will hang the wood pieces. So super colorful, but I love it. I love, 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 love. Um, so another thing I was thinking about um, as I was watching this that we could do, we could just spray paint everything and just have it more monochromatic. Um, if that's your vibe, totally up to you with how you want it. But sometimes just having that little pop of color outside, I think just gives everything more of that... Um, spring feel. Now you can see I'm using twine here. Um, I'm just kind of making sure that that, <laughs> that little um, knot that I tied there doesn't come undone with some glue, but look how stinking cute. I love this so much. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. Hope this inspired you to create something on your own. And don't forget to follow the page for more crafts. Thanks so much.